York City based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with an amazing sound healer, the one and only Kendra. Kendra, how are you? I am so thankful and thank you for having me. Oh, Kendra, well, I'm so grateful that you're here as well and that I'm here with you. And I'm so excited. The audience just got a little sneak peek of your amazing talent with your song, She and Me. Talk to me a little bit about the impetus of that song and how you came up with the idea of it. Well, She is Me is the name of the song. And it's just about me connecting myself, my inner child with my adult self and just embracing all of who I am at this point. In, in, in my life right now. I love that. And I apologize for calling it she and me. Um, you know what I was, I knew it was she is me, but what I love so much about what you're talking about and why I probably said the and is because I've been talking with a lot of artists about this whole concept, about the whole mm -hmm. idea that over these past 18 months, people have been really been forced to reacquaint themselves with their younger selves and to really like face them and ask them, how are you? Yeah. Would you say, yeah. I mean, do you, would you say that that's true for a lot of the people you know? Yes, yes, I would, in my universe, for sure. Um, everybody, this pandemic, and even before, I, all of the people that I know have been really working on their trauma and healing their inner child, because your inner child is the one that experienced the trauma, right? A lot of us. And so being able to tap into who, who that person is on the inside helps you deal with everything on the outside. Amen. And also on top of that, Kendra, you know, I feel like a lot of people have been forced to realize and face what they really want to be doing with their time. Because as we know, time is precious, but we knew that and now know that now more than ever because of this pandemic. I'm curious um, if you feel that this song is more relevant today now more than ever. I do, I do. Because you are really tapping into, like you said, figuring out exactly who you are, what you want to do, and how you want to go about that, and just embracing what that looks like. I love that. Not kind of needing the validation from other people to tell you that that's a good thing. Amen. For someone so yeah. young, you are so wise, but I'm sure you've been told <laughs> that before. Kendra, I want to know, where did you grow up, and when did you realize that you had a gift for music? Well, I grew up in Washington, D.C. Shout out to the D.C. people. And I realized that I had a gift for music when I was five. I've been, I've been singing since I was five years old. <laughs> it's amazing. Do you, remember really the first, do you remember the first song you ever wrote? Mm, first song that I wrote, it's called, cause it, okay, so I was about 14, and it's called Because We Like to Have Fun. And so it was a song about me wanting to go out and have fun with my friends and like telling my mom, don't worry about it. You raised me right. I'm going to do, you know, what, what's right about your standards and what you've taught me. So just let me have fun. <laughs> so it was called like that. How does it go? Oh my gosh. It's okay. And now I'm with my homegirls. We're all just in our own world. Mom, I know we still are young. But what's so wrong with having fun or something like that <laughs> but i remember that i wrote it with my manager at the time so it was cool though you have such a soulful voice um i'm mm -hmm. someone my favorite singer is uh, a woman by the name of sarah vaughn and i don't know and I don't know, you have such a soulful quality to your voice. Have you been told before that you have kind of a voice that obviously is 21st century, but almost has that, I don't want to say old soul version, but do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. I have, I've been told that I have a very calming, soothing, like melodic type of voice. So Thus, I've heard that. sound healer. Yes, that's why I'm a sound healer. I, I went through a lot to try to figure out what my lane is with music. Um, and so I've been able to do a lot of me time, sitting with myself, talking to my inner child and just dealing with a lot of things. And so I've come to the conclusion that I am a sound healer. And that just means all of the music and the melodies and the words that I write, they all 
have the emphasis of healing. So even from the sound waves that I record in, it's all healing based. So uh, my goal is for people to be able to meditate to the music that I make. That's amazing, Kendra. And I also love that that doesn't pigeonhole you into sticking with one genre. You can do any genre, as long as for you, you feel North Star wise, it heals. Exactly, exactly. Kendra, it's like you were built for this time. I mean, talk about lightning in a bottle. When everyone's coming out of this 18 month mess, probably a lot of people still dealing with trauma. And now they get to have you by their bedside or in their car or while they're running or just wanting to meditate, that they can relax and be with themselves, their inner child and their own inner thoughts and be calmed and healed and inspired by your music. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. That, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the goal for sure. Before I ask my final question, I wanna let everyone know for more on the fabulous Kendra, you can read more about her right below this video. Kendra, what are you most optimistic about as things start to slowly but surely open up? Something that I'm most optimistic about. People being able to connect with each other on a deeper level and not um, surface, like, a, like really intimately connecting and saying that we are all the same. <laughs> we all have trauma. We all have happy times. We all have moments where we need solitude. Like we are all the same in every shape, size, color. We're all the same. So being able to connect on an intimate level of understanding is what I'm looking forward to seeing. Amazing, Kendra. You're very inspiring. And uh, okay. I'm so grateful for the time you took today to speak with me and I'm happy we're connected now. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And me, you.